Good morning, YouTube, or good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time of the day it is you find yourself watching this video. Hope you're having a good one. Dirt Bike Buddy here, and we are on our way to the LACC Racing Series Round 5, Tunica Hills. And I'm um, super pumped for this one. Got a new front tire. I started uh, shedding some knobbies off my Dunlop MX3S last race. So I got the Shinko 216 MX, AKA the Fat Tire, AKA the Fatty. So I'm super pumped to try that one out. Also, Pinch Two Tubes trying to install that one, so decided to give a Nitro Moose a try. So super stoked to try that out as well. I'll have a, uh, probably a review on both the Shinko and the uh, Nitro Moose eventually. I'll link those in the description if I have them. If not, I'll get another video up for those later. So yeah, see y'all at the starting line. First off, I wanted to give y'all a little update on the channel. So you may have noticed that the video quality is way better than it was before. That's because I finally got a new laptop that can actually edit video, so I don't have to do it with my iPhone anymore. Man, that was getting aggravating. Now that I have the right equipment for the job, y'all keep your eyes peeled because I'm going to be trying to drop one video every week. So y'all subscribe if you like two-wheeled action, and drop suggestions for videos that you want to see in the comments. Also, I'll be starting my Crust Bucket YZ125 build here in the next couple weeks, so stay tuned. No, you did not read that wrong. The heat index was 103 degrees. And wow, I really got to warm my bike up better before the start of the race. I think it was bogging hard off the line. hot it was slipped through that turn right there it was a brutal race this day y'all it was a hot and dusty one but it was by far my favorite race of the entire season so far so hope you guys enjoy the video so i've never been the best of starts and uh i start out fifth and that guy just passed me right there so that puts me in sixth and um, it was so dusty, like, up here I had to slow down because I could not see anything at all. I didn't know if I was going to run into a tree or what, right in here. And um, here's a top 10 right through here. And I'm about to skip through this little turn track park because it's kind of boring. And I jump into the woods. there and I squeeze a couple passes in right through there. So now I'm in fourth place in my class. I'm trying to push hard this little green section down here. Ooh, almost overshot that one. lucky on that one.
is super sketch. I'm originally from North Alabama where it's just a bunch of rocks. And I was not comfortable on this super deep sandy beach for basically the entirety of the race. If you stay tuned, you'll catch a glimpse of me almost going OTB up here, this deep section I can catch a lip and just start going side to side, so stay tuned. Not yet, baby. Don't lose it yet. It's too early in the race to be dropping that bike. See, I just cut out a little flat track section right there and jumped in this little off camber tight single track section. Just really fun, but really challenging as well. I have no idea what happened there. I don't know if I hit my foot and it bumped the shifter or what, but if you watch my videos, you will see I hit neutral all the time. So if you hit neutral, don't feel bad. It happens to everybody. <laughs> or at least to me, I guess. Took my head off. Golly. Another reason I need to look ahead further. Like, golly, I was not. Oh, oh dropping that dish right there. Hard to tell from the GoPro effect, but that's like a five or ten foot drop right there. Lucky I didn't fall down in that one. It took a while to get me out. Run into him and decide screw it. I'm just gonna plow through it. 
and uh, luckily that mud hole didn't end up being a bite swallow, so that was nice. Squeeze me. So the uh, carnage you've all been waiting for is coming up soon. down the hill, drop it again, land on my head, and move that stick, pick it back up again, got a stick on my shifter, Ooh, too much of it, oh, I gotta put my goggles back on first, too much of an incline to get my bike started, gotta reposition it, still can't get my bike started, gotta reposition it again, that's what I'm wishing I could start, finally get it going, and we are back on track after about two and a half minutes of rolling around on the ground and picking my bike up and throwing it down and picking it up and throwing it down <laughs> just wearing myself out for no reason you can't tell by my breathing I am completely gassed at this point I am like oh look out look out about to run into Woo. people. <laughs> Golly, it was rough. Looking sloppy and lazy on the bike. Halfway through the first lap.
starting to pick up just a little bit of speed. But I'm still just overall trying to get my breath back. bud. Open your eyeballs. gotta be right around here somewhere. I'm not gonna die. I'm gonna make it. Hopefully. <laughs> so we are finally on the second lap. I know. Crazy, right? Didn't think I was gonna make it, did you? Yeah, I did Talking to myself, I'm starting to feel the flow a little bit now. Got my breath back. Got my flow going. Bridges. Almost went OTB. Bar started going left, right, left, right, and I barely clutched my way out of that one. So for the rest of the race, I'm just going to show you all the parts where I either feel like I was doing really good or really bad. So stay tuned. Here's a stumper coming up behind me. Decide to let him on through. Stay tuned and see what happens. A little sketch. So this XR spits this uh, log at me and it's literally rolling at me. And I have to readjust real quick so I can pop it. That was a close one. Yes. Some hill climb redemption. It is mine for the taking. Redemption again with a bump start. Keep it rolling. I could not 
not ever get good at going right that wall. It's like too low for me, I guess. Unless one doesn't take my head off if I went under and get some speed. But back to the sand wash section we are. And uh, I feel like I'm doing good. Getting some good speed. I'm not letting the sand get to me. Just, just oh, just kidding. <laughs> About ate it. That little rut right there I just went through. My last lap, there was some dude buried to his swing arm. Just kind of... I think he had his jersey and everything off, too, because he was just he was straight gassed and couldn't get out. He was, like, waiting for help almost. It was rough in there. Golly, this is ugly, man. What am I doing? Hey. It was ugly, but I made it. So, I'll take it. got that hotline down and this hotline and man the flow was so much better once you put those two hotlines together and this hotline right there honestly those three little hotlines right there that helped me run a whole lot faster you would hear this guy creeping up behind me squealing his brakes and then all of a sudden he just like disappears so i don't know what happened to that guy i just kept on riding right there just lifted my spirits a little bit a little bit of humor sometimes a little bit of humor helps me through life you know what i'm saying oh man the dreaded sand wash again let's see if i can actually make it through clean for once Woo! 
Woo! So as you can probably tell from that little outburst right there, I'm starting to feel myself again. Woo! Starting to feel the flow. Got the track down in my head. Know where the turns are, know where the hot lines are at. I'm just trying to flow, baby. I'm trying to catch up some, some time. Catch up to my, my class. Oh no, almost lost it. Don't get too caught up trying to catch up. So as I'm coming to the end of the beach right here, I'm feeling a weird sensation in my leg. It feels like some bugs or something are biting me. And I end up losing it, reaching down, trying to swat at it. Turns out it was some sort of plant seed stuck in my pants that was jabbing that was my leg. Unfortunately, my GoPro dies shortly after this, which sucks because there was a lot more carnage in this lap than any of the other laps. I want myself out trying to catch back up. But if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. If you didn't like it, tell me what I could improve on. Thanks for wrapping with me today, y'all. Until next time.